Hi everyone, welcome. What's this you ask? This is a tub of castings. A tub of castings that started into the process of being created 343 days ago. That's 49 weeks ago. Only three weeks shy of an entire year. And this batch of worms that lived in that castings material originally started out living in three yellow buckets. The three yellow buckets were labeled with these labels that you see right here. And for the first 292 days they lived in those buckets and did a whole bunch of composting for us there over the course of 21 feedings. They, um, they produced a good bit of castings and it was time to think about moving the worms out, harvesting their castings. So to make that happen we moved all the material from those three buckets into here to simplify the process. Because migrating the worms in a, in a tub like this is just so much easier. We've already hauled out worms from this stuff twice to launch off two new systems. The first haul out was used to do sort of a breeding test and after the breeding test was completed I simply emptied the material that those breeder worms were living in into this container here on my bench. That was the result of haul out number one and it's estimated that we've got something in the neighborhood of 785 worms living in here. And then haul out number two was used to launch this bin over here and there we came up with a slightly larger estimate of 1,793 worms living in there. So if we combine those numbers, we've already hauled out an estimated 2,578, 2,578 worms from the system. And today I've decided it's time to do the final haul out, get the last of the worms out of here. And since the system up on my bench, the one that houses the worms that were um, collected out of their castings during haul out number one appears to have the smaller population. I believe that here is the place to put whatever worms remain to see if we could boost up the population in this tub here and and then more importantly give us the opportunity to finally harvest the castings. So we're going to get this system over here up on the bench, get the last of the worms out of it and then those castings will be as good as harvested. So. Let's get these wormies out of here and get them relocated into their new home. So when you heard me rattling all that information off before all those numbers, I had a little my cheat sheet <laughs> on the side that I was reading off of, so don't be impressed by my ability to keep numbers like this in my head. Uh, I've got my little crib notes here, although I, I'll take credit for taking pretty good records so I can recall this information at the drop of a hat whenever it's necessary. So I've got my little tub here with which we normally do our haul outs. So it'll be kind of nice to free up some space on the shelf and get these little guys out of here. It was only five days ago we came in here at the same time that we were checking in on the, the two systems that I showed you earlier just to feed them. And at that time we even added a little bit more food just to keep this migration humming along. Not that it really would have been necessary. I made sure to include a little spray of water into here too to just make sure this is nice and damp and cozy uh, as opposed to the material that I'm trying to convince the worms to exit and leave behind which is their castings that's been just sitting out here drying and even last time we were over here we felt like we could have very well ended the the migration at that point because this material was for the most part depopulated we did find a couple worms just kind of hanging right out there on the edge, possibly because some of the moisture in here permeates across the little partition and creates material out here on the edge, which is a little bit more damp and cozy enough for the worms to be comfortable in. But I figured if we could push aside the worm-free castings to the point where it seems like we've, for the most part, got all of them, we could just take the remainder of the material and haul it out and bring it over with the worms into their new home. Yeah, here and there there's a worm in this material, but I think we've, for the most part, created a pretty good divide here of the material that we can more or less consider to be our harvested castings. Perhaps not perfect material, you could see little fragments of debris and stuff. You know, I found that if I put this material into a bucket and I just let it sit for a while, perhaps a few months, maybe not stuff as large as this, 
it's a piece of avocado shell or whatever this is, but most everything else seems to break down over that course of time of just sitting. I'm not even sure it's because it's maybe residual worms still. Now, usually there's no worms in the material. I'm assuming that that's usually um, something that I can accredit to just the microbes living in the, the finished castings. Continuing to work the material down to make it into some really nice fine stuff for us. So I think I'm going to treat this as pretty much a done deal. Let's, uh, let's put this here just to give ourselves a good easy way to see where the division line is. I guess there's always a possibility that maybe one or two worms got missed and end up in the collection of finished castings. Well, they should be alright. Perhaps the moisture level isn't optimal, but once I put this stuff into a bucket I might actually dampen it just a little bit to keep the moisture level healthy enough for the microbes that continue to remain in this stuff. And then, uh, and then I'll cover it with some sort of plastic, some sort of breathable plastic that allows for a little bit of airflow around the sides. And then we could, uh, and then we could know that that material is just going to sit there and continue to age and get really cozy. Well, not cozy because nothing's going to be living in it. Only the roots of some plants <laughs> someday when the castings get used in gardening. So let's see here. What do we got? We've got a pretty good turnout. The last of the worms that were still living in the material. So as we do haul out number three, I'm just attempting to give everyone a, a decent view of the worms that were extracting from this horizontal migration feeding zone so that after we release them into their new home and I finish this video shoot I can go back to my spreadsheet and enter what I estimate to be the number of worms that we just hauled out here and then what I'll do the same way I got those numbers on the on the little information board that I was reading off to you earlier those numbers come from not just my estimate but I average everyone else's estimates so I take my guess and I throw it in the hat with everyone else's and then it's actually the average of all those estimated numbers of worm population that I that I share with all of you guys and that I treat as the actual number of worms and you know there's a good bit of castings in here piling up there's um, some large chunks of food as well as a, a fair bit of fresh unused bedding too but mixed in with all that, you got to admit, there's a good number of worms in here. So like I said earlier, I'm attempting to display them to the best of my ability and move stuff around. Give everyone a, a sense of how many worms it is that we're actually hauling out here today and introducing to the, to the other system. So please, don't forget to write in your estimates into the comments section of this video that I can use those bits of information to tally up an average and then that'll become our new estimate boosting up the population of that other system from its current estimate of 785 to whatever it is that we end up coming up with and I think I'm already beginning to formulate a, an estimated number of worms that I believe we just pulled out of here and it seems pretty substantial so let's just take a quick peek over here did we leave anyone behind I see a wormy right here I thought that there might have been a couple hanging out on this pretty heavily deteriorated piece of cardboard here. And you know, this stuff here might just be best joining the new system someday to be used as bedding or whatever. But it doesn't really serve any purpose here anymore, right? Because this is now a done deal. At 49 weeks, we finally have our harvested batch of castings from the European night crawlers that started out in the yellow buckets and have now been hauled out with haul out number three. Oh boy, more emergency vehicles. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but all morning long, it's been fire trucks, emergency vehicles. My sister lives in the town over and she even notified me of some sort of a alert that must have come to her phone or something saying avoid Lincoln Avenue 
there's a fire or some sort of a situation going on over there. I hope everyone's okay. So yeah, let's um let's not worry so much about tidying up here. I'll definitely spend a little additional time to make sure I'm not leaving any worms behind, but I'm interested in getting the worms relocated into their new home. So let's go get that other system out here and cut these little guys loose in their new home. Reunite them with their friends and neighbors. Alright, so this is the system that was up on the bench earlier. And the reason it was up there was because I actually shot some video. I, I tilled up this entire bin. I wanted to see if I could see any baby worms moving around. It always seems like if I play back some video fast, then all the, um, the worms kind of reveal themselves just by their movement, you know. And watching them in real time, it's a little bit slow. You can't really see what's going on, but when you play the video back fast, you can certainly see what's happening a little bit better. So, not much left to be done here, other than releasing the worms, and then we'll be done. So, this system only got fed five days ago. There's little bits of food already in here floating around, little scraps of vegetable and uh, vegetable and potato peel and whatnot. So. Um, I believe that feeding from five days ago should sustain this bin pretty good for a while. Although it seemed a little dry, so I did dump in a little bit of water. So this is more or less set to go in terms of just being covered back up and returning to the shelf as soon as these worms get added. So please, as I said earlier, give me your ideas in terms of how many worms you believe we're releasing here today into this system in addition to the existing worms. And, um, and like I said, I'll be taking all that information, entering it into my spreadsheet so that we come up with an averaged total population that live in this bin here now. And it seems like we've got a pretty good number of them. So let's let them get settled in and we'll be finished here. You know, these little wormies, they're pretty, they're pretty, um, lively. They all seem to just vanish down into the material quite quickly. The material is pretty loose and easy for them to navigate through and burrow down into. So that's possibly part of the reason. But I figured maybe we would just probe through the material a little bit here and there just to further give ourselves a, a slightly better sense of how many worms it is that we just released into here and then I'll take everyone's guesses average it and that'll become the official worm count for this bin so yeah this bins only how old is it now 28 days of the worms being in their breeder environments plus the past uh, 11 days 11 days since we dumped everything into this box 39 days so these worms are 39 days or the system is 39 days with a combined population of whatever that first haul out consisted of, the breeders, um, and then now whatever it is that we come up with jointly as the estimate for this population. So I've got a, um, a number of things over there to look over and clean up, but I think before I sign off, I'll just start into covering up these containers, sort of the way we found them, or the way we left them last time, not the way we found them, because. The way we found them was uncovered already, so I can check it out. But we're covering them back up. And I think the moisture I added earlier, too, is probably going to help a little bit, too. The material seemed a little bit drier than it needs to be, so I felt like it would be a good idea to add a little bit of moisture into this system. And the plastic here is really just intended to keep that moisture down. Some of the moisture might seep past this, you know, paper and make its way out into the air and evaporate. But anything under the plastic is going nowhere. It's just going to stay in the bin. Keep the moisture level in here nice and high the way the worms like it. And then at some point, maybe in another week or so, we'll be back in here to feed them. So that's it for today's video, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please don't forget to leave me a quick thumbs up before you go. It's always really appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.